This is more of a spur of the moment video where we were doing a normal hive inspection and then it needed to be a split. Now I knew that this colony was strong. It was quite a big colony. It's got three supers on already in April and the weather hasn't been that brilliant, but the bees haven't stopped and you will see this in the video. This is the hive that we want to split. It's absolutely packed. We've got three supers on at the moment. I've noticed that we do have swarm cells on a few of these frames. I've got a four frame nook. We'll take four frames from this hive. That way, when we give them four frames back, they can build it, occupy them. They've already got the supers as well. So let's, let's go for the hunt for the queen cells that we want to use and go from there. This queen, unfortunately, is not marked, so it's going to be a bit of a mission finding her. She's an incredible queen. But you can see this is the ninth frame in the hive, and she's got all these eggs. See, there's a queen cup here not quite made and it is charged there is something in it I'll show you I'm not going to be using this one because there are others I know you can see in there so we take that out every single frame has brewed See, we've got more cells here. You've just got to take your time and you've got to work your way through. These ones are still not capped. She's still laying, she's still got eggs. And they're fresh eggs from today, so I'm not worried. There's another one here. That's quite a nice one. It's not capped. So what we need to do is check all the gaps at the bottom so you can blow on the bees. And I'm not shaking these frames because I don't know if I'm going to be using any of these queen cells and I don't want to disturb them because you can damage them by shaking the frames. You can see the bees are just falling off. Right, what I might do put that one back and I'm going to mark it as a maybe so we know that there's something there to inspect that in a minute right we've got a looks like a capped cell here no it's not capped yet got some other cups we've got a few here take them out that's no good that's a bit distorted so that's not a very good one to keep So if we take those out, make sure they don't go back in the hive. So we'll keep that one for now. That's another maybe. Right, so we've got a whole grouping here. Yeah, so I think that one's capped. Got some more at the bottom. So they really don't want to hang around. You can see the amount of bees though, even though they've got three supers on now, they're still wanting to leave. So if we take those away, it's not fully capped. See, we've got this contemplating that one. So we might come back for that one as well. All of this capped brood 
This is worker brood. It takes 21 days for them to emerge. So there's so much capped brood and eggs, larvae in this hive. I mean, it's all frames have got brood in them. So as soon as they hatch, we're gonna have another big boom of bees. So it'll be good to take a few of these frames. Doesn't look as though there's anything on this one. But take your time and double check because you do not want your main hive swarming. So there's nothing on that one either. There's a little cup there, but it's nothing. But if you see that she's still laying and they're fresh eggs, they're sticking up, I'm not too worried. And we've still got time, if anything does happen, to sort it out. So that one's okay. And then I think there might be, if there's brood on here, there might be one on here. Yeah, there is this one at the bottom. That's a nice one, actually. Look at that. That I will keep, and it's capped. It's only just been capped. So this is definitely a frame we're going to take, but we need to find the queen. We cannot have the queen on the frame. I'm just going to pause the video there, just for a second. There are many methods you can do for this situation. But the, the main two that you could do is an artificial swarm, and that's taking the queen, putting her in a separate box with a couple of frames of brood. This is telling the bees that they've swarmed and then they don't need to make any more swarm cells. Meanwhile, the original hive will then create cells to make a queen. The other way of doing things, if you can't find your queen, is to take down all queen cells, split the hive into two boxes, your original and a nook or another hive and that way whatever hive is building the cells that's the hive without the queen. I saw that there were some nice swarm cells so I wanted to use them. Now this frame we are going to take so this is the one with the cell here so put that in there Unfortunately, this frame, because it was an end frame, has pollen in it, so that's quite good. So that's one frame. So you can see they're coming out the supers, they're coming back, they're wanting to go home, but we've got a mission to do. They're absolutely balmy, this hive. So this is the one with these cells on. I'm going to take one of those. So we're going to be having two cells in the nook. I always do two, others do one, it's your own preference. By doing two, you never know if one's going to be unsuccessful or not very good in the actual cell. So having two, there's always a backup. So we've got our cell here. We're going to keep that, taking that one out. We're just checking to see if there's any others but we want to make sure the queen is not on this frame, which is, it is an impossible task, yes. Nearing. It's like, where's Wally? We'll find Waldo. See, this frame's good because we've got capped brood, we've got honey stores, pollen. This is a lovely frame to take. So we're going to take this frame. She doesn't appear to be on here, so this is a lovely frame to take. So let's put this in the nook. And we've got nurse bees in there as well. We'll just run your hand down very gently at the bottom of the frame so they don't get squished when you put it in. Sorry, girls. There you go. So 
So we've got three frames. They've all got brood. They've all got stores. We just need one more frame because they, as you can see now, this hive is booming. Absolutely incredible. So one more frame. I believe we marked one here, this one here with a cell on, but we're gonna go back through anyway, just to double check. Make sure there's no others. In fact, we can shake this frame because I don't want any of the cells on it. So gently, there we go. Makes your life a lot easier. Right, let's put this frame back. Let's go for the other one. You can see they're bearding at the bottom when they're coming in. This one has a cell on, I know. Yeah, over there in the corner. See, we've got two cells. They're both capped in the in the nook now, so we don't really need this. So we'll take that. And this is a nice frame to take because we've got fresh brood and it's all capped. We've got honey. Right now we're on the queen hunt again. Come on, queenie. Do your thing. So I'm happy that there's no queen on here, so we will take that, and this will be our fourth and final frame. So that's our four frames. All we need to do now is just put as many bees in as possible. So we've got loads of nurse bees. All the flying bees will obviously leave here in their own time and then go back to their, their main home. So it will leave the non-flying bees and that's the nursing bees that we need. So we can move them now in our apiary where we want to put them. So we're just gonna do one very quick look back into these three frames Make sure there's nothing there. We can shake the, the bees, but to be honest, I have looked through this. Just a quick look. I don't really want to disturb them anymore. I mean, they're not very happy. They all just want to settle back now. You can see they're not happy. Right, I think that one's okay. That one looks good. All right, girls, all right. That one looks good also. Yes, if I shake the bees anymore, we won't be able to even hear ourselves think. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four blanks in here and then I'll close them up. So we've got a new frame, put another new frame next to that one. And then we've got our broods. Let's just move these in like so. And we've got another frame. And then the last one. There you go. So now we just need the queen excluder. And then you can see they're all coming out of the supers.
which they've nearly filled actually. So if you put supers on at an angle, because I don't like to smoke the supers because it taints the honey, just very gently at an angle, usher the super on, it moves the bees out the way. And they're on. You can see that this hive for this time of year in England is quite incredible because this is Langstroth. This is not a small hive and they're already on three supers. But for now, that should do. So we've taken four frames, brood in every single one of them. We've got two cells. We'll put that in the nook box. We'll leave it for about three weeks. Hopefully we'll get a mated queen and then we'll revisit.